Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Shaman King episode number 37. Okay, the previous episode, um, we were in the middle of the battle between uh, Red Sep and Chokolov. Chokolov uh, realized that he has actually killed their father, uh, Seram and Red Sep's father. And, um, you know, the whole thing with revenge starts. Uh, Red Sep tries to get revenge and he almost kills uh, I think he like actually kills like you know um, Chokolov and but he was somehow saved he you know uh, Yo came in Ryu came in Ryu took it's taking him to Jun I think that's what he said um, and yeah that's what happened and Yo took over Yo and Red Seb had like a battle uh, Yo showed Red Seb that uh, like you know revenge is not everything and you know like what would happen if the same thing happens to your sister will you be able to handle it and yeah like red sub was able to understand but still like you know um she, uh yo got badly hurt suddenly like uh what's the name the uh golem went berserk uh serum also started like you know doing things on her own uh like things gets complicated suddenly um how how comes in and all of you know his uh like, you know all, all all the all his friends and everyone comes in as well <laughs> and like you know it's 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 complete mess like he, he and the golem starts fighting and then the big revelation comes in is that the dad is like that is dead obviously but he is currently possessing Sarah and he's actually doing all of this and he's he's saying something about uh like you know like uh was talking about his people and how he wanted justice for them or something like that he was talking about i'm not sure what that is about i'm sure we'll get more explanation in this episode but yeah turns out the dad is like possessing sarah and uh, yeah things are like you know a little bit like you know like we're in a little bit trouble now let's see what happens and uh, yeah we'll have to see so anyways uh, let's get started uh, without further ado i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it whichever is a preference and let's start all right here's the countdown three two one go never felt Okay. Yep. Yeah, I don't think he he's actually paying attention to anything. Yeah, like uh, Hmm. Oh, okay, interesting. Oh, that's why. Okay, that makes sense. You're punished by, yeah. Yep. All right. Well, this is full on war. Like, look at this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh. 
I was in the middle of a walk. Winds of laughter. Oh. Wait, he went home? What? Wait, he went away? My god. I was thinking that the whole wall was, wall was going to break out or something. My god, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Hmm. Yeah, he is losing blood, I think. Oh god. Wow, he really is obsessed with the golem. Oh. Oh, they met each other. Okay. What if I enemy that I have to do? Okay, that's why he he's acting as a guardian, you know. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's Lyserk. Lyserk. All right. Exactly. <laughs> the neck. Scar on the belly. Hmm. Yeah, maybe because as he said, like, no, he's like, he was the only friend that he had. He acknowledged him as his friend. So, okay, let's see. Now the dad was okay. Yeah. True, there must be yeah, some hesitation. Hopefully. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. All right, here we go. Oh, my God. Ugh. Wow, he's not even... Oh god. Oh. Wait, he's okay? Wait, 
Wait, what the? What was that power? Oh, he almost died. He came back. Probably Jun patched him up. That's why he's so strong now. Winds of laughter. Wow, there you go. Wait, what? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I really believed that for a second there. <laughs> I really believed that for a second. Oh, it makes sense so much. <laughs> well, <laughs> hmm. read you read the minds, yeah. Okay, okay, makes sense. Hmm. Hmm. You already answered your own what? I left the call into hell. <laughs> mm, that's why he left the golem there, okay. Okay. Hmm. Oh, okay. Little job. Camel Munsa. W O S. Jaguar man. W O S. Wind of Spirit. Okay. He doesn't even realize that. <laughs> okay, so So did Jun patch him up? I think so. Oh, smelling. Whoa, what the? What was that? Is he like walking on what? <laughs> okay, that's what he's doing. Wow. Big faces over so. All make stone head. Oh, it's gonna... oh, this okay. Ah! <laughs> I pushed it away. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm, yeah. True. All right, let's see what happened actually after that part. Oh, he was going through the communes. Okay. Oh. So I can give people answers. Thousand years soul. Pascal Abba. Oh. Okay, okay. People are held on. Hmm. Yeah, that's why that's okay. Is that why people go stronger after, you know, they go to a death, life and death situation? Living with no fear of death. Oh, okay. It's, yeah, it's recklessness. Living with... Hmm. Okay. Oh wow. He has he has two um guardian spirits now, right? Yeah, Mick and the I forgot the other one's name. Okay. Oh. Okay, so he's like using them both at the same time. Whoa. My god. Alright, he mixed them, both of them. Explosive spin. Ooh. Alright. Oh, it's not gone. It's still alive. And he also needs to save Serum at the same time. Oh, whoa, it shoots. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Okay. Wait. Wait, what happened? Oh, that's Anna, isn't it? 
Oh my god, <laughs> Mephisto is here as well. <laughs> oh my god, don't, please. <laughs> Just kicks him awake. Oh, wait. What the? Followers of Mickey. Mm -hmm. Nah, the, he's like he said he had like you know. Uh... Okay. Hmm. Um, take wait. Oh, give us, give it to us. <laughs> All right. Okay, okay. I think that's a better idea. You know. <laughs> nah. <laughs> oh <laughs> well yeah that really came into an abrupt end I was not expecting it going like this oh my god he <laughs> Wait, he will he become will he become one of part of the team or something? <laughs> okay. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. Oh. Yeah, that was a really long <laughs> day. Oh boy. Okay, there you go. Ooh. Wait, who's this? Oh, this is you. I was I wasn't able to recognize him for a second there. Hmm. Wait. Wait, is he blind? What? Oh no. Yeah, obviously, like who would do that because of home? Okay. Oh, okay, just like how? <laughs> what?
Oh. Mm. All right. <laughs> All right, let's hear the pun. <laughs> Not funny. <laughs> Come on. There you go. Okay. Yep, that's the end. Oh boy. Okay, um this episode there were a few surprising parts which came out of the blue completely and <laughs> Okay, I'll talk about those later. First of all, let's talk about this um one after the other um first thing we actually get to know what is what type of uh, spirit actually is uh, the dad um what was his name Ma yeah, i forgot anyways I'll, I'll have to check it out again later on um <coughs> <coughs> he it was an earthbound spirit and um that's why he is so obsessed with you know like when he died he probably had uh, a lot of obsession with the golem so he was just like you know bound to the golem and it just never left now here's one thing that i i think i actually misunderstood in the previous episode i thought that uh serum like you know closed off his heart her heart because um because her dad was actually possessing her i thought because of that it was like a side effect or something but technically like from this episode i i realized that no it's not it was not that she really did close off her heart it, it was not because of the dad was possessing her or something it was not because of that and uh like the dad and i, I think the dad wasn't even possessing her the dad was actually possessing the golem wasn't it like these were the i think these are the few misunderstandings i had in the previous episode i thought the dad was possessing sarah so it was just bound to this golem and since serum was inside the golem you know she, he also she also got uh, involved in this i think i'm not sure but yeah probably it's something like that but yeah anyways um we okay yeah we get to know what he actually is and he himself doesn't realize that he is dead you know and he was just trying to defeat whatever came in in front of him you know whoever posed threat to the golem so and none of like you know none of his children's words were coming into his ears now i really like you know in the previous episode i really thought how are they going to do like you know do anything because uh, not only how is here but all of his uh, friends his minions everyone was there so i was like how are they even going to get out of this situation like how he himself can probably wipe out the whole team <laughs> not only him but all his you know teammates are also there i was like yeah this, this is like i'm not sure how this is going to go but yeah it turns out he just leaves <laughs> but anyways okay so here we actually get to like you know as as how said that there is no humans you know like uh you know humans that were my that i could call my friend uh, which and in the in the end he also says that um, Matamune was the only person, uh, uh, only, uh, yeah, or like you know, only one who, who he considered a friend. And the thing that um, I think Anna said this after later on, Anna says that Matamune will be someone who will be integral to defeat How. This is something um, which I also think is that yeah, she's correct because um, Matamune. As, as he said, like he only acknowledges Matamune as his friend. And if we remember, Matamune was also the only person who actually defeated him once. So this time as well, I'm guessing, you know, he, he probably will be the only one who can, 
move house hard uh, you know like because i feel like defeating how through pure power or pure you know <coughs> fuyoku or whatever it's impossible i don't think it's possible so i think they really need matamune to i don't know at least like you know if if not if you're not able to defeat him properly you can like you know you can i don't know move his heart and do something with that which obviously matamune is the only one who can probably do it so probably we'll meet him in the future you know maybe in the final battle or something and uh, like how himself also said something like that he said something like when i'll meet matamune again i need you to be like you know present in there alongside me and matamune so yeah which is which is really like you know what can i say like which which really makes sense because just like how how considered matamune as his only soul friend um you also like you know considered the matamune in like you know respects him and like you know puts him in the same position so three of them being present there and how and you know yo both are like part of the same person they're like um, like there are halves of the same uh, two halves of the same uh, like you know uh, yeah same soul so <coughs> <coughs> that's why matamune how and yo three of them will probably be present in the final battle and yeah it will probably happen i don't know in the later part of this anime and okay so yeah that was that everyone was like you know getting ready to fight how <laughs> and how says that um yeah i remember i was actually on a walk and he then just leaves <laughs> oh boy <laughs> like <laughs> i love the way they did this they they like you know they hyped it up so much you know like everyone was ready everyone was, was out with their oversouls and all <laughs> how was even there and then then in the next scene after the like you know like little transition scene yeah how is just gone <laughs> but yeah it makes so much sense because if how actually fought them they would have all been defeated easily so yeah like that's that's obviously that's not going to happen because we still have a lot more episodes to go through and uh, yo still needs more improvement more training more you know to get more stronger and yeah and how also said something like that like i need yo to become more stronger than he currently is all right enough of that um then we get a little back story of how mikihisa met uh, the dad okay what was his name kamel mutsar okay uh, he met him in mount kailash and <clears throat> so he's a, obviously he's a scientist and they they were friends which which makes sense now that i think about it you know because otherwise how will mickey why was mickey is even taking care of the two kids because obviously they were they were friends and uh, uh munsa told him to take care of the golem and the kids if something happened to him so yeah okay anyways um we then um okay uh where is it all right okay so yeah then uh the next scene uh we go oh lyserk uh tells them to run away from there because obviously the golem will keep attacking them and serum is inside them so obviously they cannot go full out on it it'll <coughs> it'll probably hurt serum so and then they come up with a plan that uh red Seb will talk try to you know talk with the dad and make him stop they tried it but unfortunately it did not work because obviously the dad was still under the influence or under the you know the thing that like you know as a ghost as an out the bound ghost he, he was not in his correct mind he didn't even like you know register in his head that uh, that was his son and he shoots some like you know a beam um chocolates comes in with his new oversoul um wind of laughter all right and 
Oh, and then there's like an you know, Anna was actually narrating the backstory of uh, <clears throat> backstory of how uh, not how sorry uh, of Yo and Matamune to Manta. Okay, now so wait a minute. One thing. So <coughs> so he um, Chocolove he came back. I so what happened? Did he not get treatment from Jan? Because I thought that he was actually no, not Jan. Sorry, why am I saying Jan? Um, Gandhara. Um, Ren was uh, Ryu was actually taking him to the Gandhara, wasn't he? So, so wait, what happens? So does he like come back in the middle of the journey? I think that's what happened because I think he was actually going through the trial in his you know in, inside his uh, inner inner thing. And after he like you know was able to uh, accomplish the trial, the the you know the trial that he went through, maybe that after that he came back, and he didn't even need to go to the Gandhara the first time. The, after that, after that you know that that scene after fighting the golem, after that he had to go to the Gandhara again. But but while Ryu was taking him, maybe he, I think so. Yeah, but that's probably what happened. You know. Like Ryu was taking him to the Gandhara and maybe after like, you know going a little distance he woke up and he was like no we need to go back and help them out. Uh, with his newfound oversoul he went back. Okay now this is very interesting you know like um, how you know, when people almost die they kind of go to this inner world where in the with the great spirit and if someone really dies the soul goes and integrates uh, mixes with the great spirit and makes a com community or commune with like-minded people like-minded souls and they make little communities and like you know like this is like a little uh, a little place uh, like with a lot of like-minded people all clumped together or something and um the thing why i'm saying it's interesting is because um <clears throat> so for for chocolate he was almost dying he was in the brink of death he goes there he meets his uh, master and he goes through these trials that he you know like and and he kind of goes through the different communities uh, and he says that yeah i feel very small like you know looking at this vast place this vast communities of souls and this really makes me realize how insignificant and small i am and then um the master takes him to the ancient soul uh, okay where is it where is what's the name of the soul uh just a sec okay yeah thousand year soul um he once entered the shaman fight and gave us hope while he did not come came out victory victorious the bravery he showed led to his eventual dedication and yeah everyone uh worshipped him uh he became a god okay where is the name Oh my god, where, where? Did I miss the name? What the hell? Okay, Pascal Abba. <coughs> there you go, Pascal Abba. So, this thousand year old um, soul, I think, this is what he, Chokolov, you know, got contracted with, and that's why he got his new oversoul. So, so, what happened is, like, obviously, since the Great Spirit is like a place of different souls. Chokolov went there and was able to get a new um, spirit partner from you know from the great uh, spirit I think that's what happened you know because suddenly like you know getting a new uh, spiritual ally or spirit, uh, spirit partner is pretty difficult I think but since he was inside the great spirit there are a lot of souls there obviously so he can you know make a contract with someone and that's why you know not only uh, Mick is with him now, but Pas Pascal Abba he also with him. Like he has two two uh, spiritual contracts with two different spirits. So and that's why he can you know, combine the two over souls with each other. Okay, that that makes sense. So, all right, yeah. Now, okay, so here's uh, you know like uh, he comes back. With his new found oversoul new power he combines it with mick and gets a completely new oversoul 
and he now here's okay so he talks here about uh, you know like how he regrets now the things that he did before all the you know the, the bad things that he did before and i don't know how he changed after meeting his master and how he realized that you know like the things that he had been doing is not okay and everyone like you know like uh, like the like, you know everyone should laugh it away like you know not like you know n no violence but you know like just laugh everything off it's like that's what the his master taught him you know like even when his master died he he taught him to forgive people and you know that's why he never actually like had any grudge against the people who killed his master and even even those people those uh, those guys who actually killed his master became good later on so <clears throat> yeah so now <clears throat> that's what he realized in the later part of his life but as you said like whatever you give will come back one day or the other so the thing that he did in his past it came back here it came back and it took his life almost and <clears throat> that's why you know he he decided like to break that chain he decided to break that chain there because if he, if he still continues to like you know, if this chain still co goes continuing this will go this the cycle of revenge will keep going on and on because it won't stop <coughs> if <coughs> since if somehow um Chokolov got killed probably someone would like you know get this whole revenge thing in them and they would go for red seb and Sarah next time and you know like this is going to happen keep happening over and over again so like to stop that chocolate himself who was the one you know who took uh, their dad's life he was the best person to actually stop this cycle to break this cycle and <clears throat> you know he he decided to just you know help them this time like help Choc uh, help serum and red Sep out of that mess and um all right, so now they, <coughs> they uh, yeah, they start the battle. I was thinking, like for a moment, I thought maybe Chocolov was so strong that he, you know, like the golem was actually fighting with him and no one else was able to, you know, defeat the golem. So when Chocolov was fighting in the beginning and he was almost defeating the golem, I was thinking, wait a minute, did he really become as strong as, like, you know, not as strong, but did he really become stronger than everyone here? Like all the people who are here, like if he actually defeats the golem then he'll be stronger than everyone but then we see that he actually gets defeated i was like okay that makes more sense because you know like um he did die you know like he did die that's why increasing in furyoku is something that was expected but like you know like if he actually defeated the golem there i would have been very much surprised like you know that because that would actually mean that he would be stronger than each and every people who were present here even ren so i'm not sure of his furyoku level now it's probably a lot more than he, it was before he died um so but still it's not enough you know not enough to actually go against the golem or how obviously but <clears throat> yeah Yeah, and then he says like you know i cannot like obviously he cannot uh change the past he cannot erase his crimes but all he can do now is help save the soul of uh munzer <clears throat> and he uses his oversoul the both the oversoul uh you know the jaguar man i think that's what he called it yeah mm, they fought and <laughs> suddenly in comes um oh yeah the one thing i forgot to mention like you know that that scene um one of the most shock not shocking but yeah shocking you can say scene is when <laughs> anna was talking to manta like he she says that you are mata mune's um reincarnation i'm like oh really <laughs> like i really believe that you know because it would actually not surprise me if manta really was the reincarnation of mata mune like and like you know like <laughs> as soon as she said that i was like my god so this was actually happening like you know all along and that's why you know like it makes so much sense because uh yo is so like you know like friendly with uh, manta all that stuff and then anna says that nah it's a joke i'm like my god like what? 
<laughs> like why <laughs> but yeah he did say you know like <coughs> and i did say that even though you like you know obviously he's not the reincarnation of matamun like if you even stop and think about it you'd realize that because matamun has said that he i think he's um he can be brought back uh, you know using like you know uh, in front using that thing i think he said something about that yeah using using the the necklace that um how gave him you know he said something about he can be brought back and maybe in the future when yo is able to become the shaman king maybe we'll meet again so if uh, Ma manta is the reincarnation of mata mune it wouldn't make sense i think so you know so like if you actually think about it you would realize that no manta is obviously not the reincarnation of mata mune but in, in that like you know in that moment heat of the heat of that moment i was like oh my god this makes so much sense he's the reincarnation of mata mune and then anna completely says that nah that's a joke <laughs> god <laughs> but yeah but obviously like the thing that anna says is correct like yo you know probably found something in manta which was very similar to mata mune and that's why he became like you know so good friends with him and anna also talks about her not being able to like you know see the soul anymore after you know yo defeated uh, the demon and they went away something happened probably maybe the that power went away with the demon or maybe it was yo's power that took away her like you know that thing so yeah who knows so yeah that was that okay and anyways i i completely forgot to mention that scene that was one of the most <laughs> <laughs> surprising scenes in this episode i really like believed it for a second there <laughs> oh boy but anyways yeah okay then like you know as i was saying like you know chocola when they were fighting suddenly anna comes in whacks both of them and she she's like stop enough fighting just you know like <coughs> listen to me you're dead you know accept it and then the dad was like wait i'm dead <laughs> and then he actually realizes everything he also realizes what he has been doing and you know he he actually recognizes his uh, his children then and he says that okay like you know i'll destroy this and anna was like why why are you wasting this this has become so much in handy with the battle against how <laughs> just wasting like you know a good thing like that what are you even thinking just shut up and come with me <laughs> oh boy and um yeah so i'm guessing he's joining us or something i don't know <laughs> you know like we're seeing um <laughs> hamida maro <laughs> basan um <laughs> and you know him uh munzer just like you know sitting down together wow so my guess is probably he will be something that will i don't know help us move the golem or something maybe something like that because the golem seems like it'll be like an integral part of defeating how or something like that it'll be <clears throat> so and now that he actually joins us it's good you know like it's good that he i hope he's joining us i don't know i'm still not sure like if he actually joins us it'll be good for the kids as well like serum and recep like <clears throat> you know like they'll be able to spend more time even though they're spirits he's a spirit still you know we can spend some time as father and uh, son and daughter so yeah <clears throat> okay and then they give us a little summary of what everyone is doing like uh, uh you went uh, to gandhara again in hopes of resurrecting Cho chocolate i guess he was successful in that because in the last scene we see chocolate is fine and uh, uh oh and faust was doing discovered a new power known as the Alter oh so faust also was able to ma grasp or you know discover uh chosenji rakitsu i think so okay and uh, lyser we also saw lyser there and you know everyone anna all of them you know the very long night of soul searching and pondering over their own riddles <clears throat> now the last scene um we get to know chocolate lost his eyesight now as he said <coughs> like he was at the, at the beginning he was saying something like oh i did this because 
you know, like if one sense is gone, the others will get more stronger. That's why, you know, my nose will be more stronger. All that stuff he was saying. Obviously, uh, Yo was like, obviously, that's not the f entire thing, is it? You're, you're actually hiding something. What is it? And he says that it's actually kind of like a way for atonement. Not a way for atonement, but where is that scene? Okay, here it is. Yeah, uh, Serum closed her heart all because of me. I wondered what I should do, but I came up with nothing. So in order to understand how she feels, I thought I'd try shutting the light off. <clears throat> Pretty dumb, right? Okay. <clears throat> okay, that's his own way, you know, his own way of making amends. Yes. And uh, yeah, so he so he's he cannot see now. And I'm guessing he's kind of like walking and doing stuff just by, you know, as using his heightened senses, his, his smell, his touch and all that stuff. I think probably it's something like that because it doesn't seem like, you know, like if you look at him from the outside, it doesn't seem he's blind. He's just, you know, walking, doing stuff on his own, like a very normal person. So yeah, his, like, you know, his, his senses are extra heightened. So he's getting smell is like, you know, using the touch to feel as well and you know sound you can hear sounds and stuff like that's how i'm guessing he's like uh, able to uh see kind of even though he is blind now he lost his eyesight <coughs> okay and in the end you know <laughs> chocolate with his usual puns <laughs> tries to make um uh, and Serum laugh and she does smile in the end so yeah and yeah that was that was a it feels like this is like an ending of an arc or something I, I, I'm guessing it is an ending of an arc because this this was like one long day <laughs> it's like one in one day <coughs> everything was happening <laughs> one after the other like I, I'm guessing this is the end of this arc and probably from the next episode a new arc will start and yeah we'll get to see something new so like quite a few things happen in this one day, you know, like uh, so many things like uh, <clears throat> Ren dies, Ren comes back, he gets stronger. We get a little backstory of Yo and Matamune and Anna. And, you know, we meet the Gandhara. Um, Ryu almost dies, he comes back again. Um, uh, Chocolate dies, comes back. You know, Chocolate gets this power. We get a little bit more with Lyseric. Lyseric also understands a lot now. You know, Lyseric gets his new uh, angel. Um, and what else? Uh, the whole thing with the golem happens. We meet Serum and uh, Red Seb. Yeah, so many things happen. Uh, we get more information about how. Like, wow. Like, a lot of things happens. And yeah, this day finally ended and a new day starts. And... From, from the next episode, I'm guessing we're going to get something new. So, well, so our, our crew kind of grew quite a lot, you know, in this few days. Uh, not few days, but in this one day. Like, we get addition, like, you know, we get a few more additions. Serum, Red Set. Mikisa is obviously joining us as well because, you know, he's he's kind of with us now that, you know, Serum and Red Set is with us. So, uh, they're, like, you know, joining us. Uh, Munser is also, I'm guessing, joining us as well. Mm. I'm not sure about the uh, no. He was he was just keeping an eye on them. I'm talking about uh, uh, Chokolov's master. Like you know, in the ending scene, we see like you know, he Munser and Mikis are just standing on top of a tree, and I'm guessing he was just looking at them. You know, obviously he's not joining us. Like, but I'm guessing Munser is going to join us. Who knows? But yeah, that was it. Okay, that was it. That was this episode. Now, there's a few things that... No, there's nothing. Like, you know, like I, I feel like everything got answered by the end of it. Yeah, everything got answered. I don't think there was any portion that was left for answering. And... Uh... Yeah, that was it. So that was it, guys. That was this episode. Um, so yeah, that was like... <laughs> <laughs> that was a really like a long day and yeah finally we everything is kind of okay now um 
uh, a lot of people now as i said like i'm still not sure how much uh, chocolate's uh, uh, furoku grew it probably grew in a cons considerable amount Horohoro also gained a lot of power in that small amount of time so i'm guessing everyone is kind of like in the same power level now isn't it like in in, the, in that tournament we saw yo was heavily stronger you know a lot stronger than all the other like you know on his all his other other teammates but in these few days uh days and day um <clears throat> all the other characters ran and all of them kind of caught up to him didn't they now i'm guessing all of them are kind of like in the same power level now uh it's probably something like that so yeah now now i'm guessing we need more power uh, because we are nowhere near uh, how so yeah let's see what happens anyway that was it thank you guys for watching this is my reaction to shaman king episode number 50 uh, no sorry 37 why was i saying 57 <laughs> 37 so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so yeah that's it thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of shaman king until then goodbye and have a nice day